Okay, how's it going everyone? And just a quick update in terms of the progress made in this room, or I suppose you could more appropriately term it the lack of progress, <laughs> or just proliferation of more stuff, or just moving more stuff up here, I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I guess it was about 10 months ago or so I put up a video kind of touring around this room and showing you what was going on in here. At the time I didn't have this desk up here, uh, I've got my Titan Vulix stick up there with uh, a Samsung 32-inch uh, HD uh, TV, and you can hook the PS3, PS4 up to that. A nice setup there. Really great for uh, Darius Burst on the PS4. And um, well, the big thing to show you is I finally unboxed and dusted off the Vega Junior Jamma Super Gun, and it is in the room. Yeah, so um, you'll remember... Seven years back, the uh, very first arcade PCB gameplay I put up was on this thing with the uh, Sunset Riders arcade board. And uh, at the time, in the old setup this uh, Super Gun was on, uh, a new, well, not a new one, but newly moved into this room, uh, this desk back in the day. And uh, so the Vega Junior was on top of it, and I had like an old dresser behind it with a, an absolutely massive 32-inch uh, Trinitron CRT behind it kind of like my first makeshift arcade setup, and that was before I got any of my uh, candy cabinets. But uh, what I plan to do in this room is kind of move this, uh, and this is an old uh, desk from way back in the day that I got in Japan, move it uh, on this wall, put one of these, either the Philips or the NEC uh, PC 31 kilohertz CRT on top of it, and uh, get the Vega Junior hooked up to one of these monitors with uh, XRGB2. So we can uh, upscan and convert the uh, 15 kilohertz uh, signal from the uh, super gun and arcade boards up to a 31 kilohertz monitor and put in those beautiful Micom soft scan lines uh, via RGB perfection JP21 pin and yeah so I think that will be quite nice I don't know if I've ever showed you this but it, this actually opens up like that and uh, back in the day uh, there was kind of like a a lamp that I used to have in there, but uh, it's it's long been gone since it was set up back in the day to have this thing on top of it. But I guess that is about it for right now. I know it looks a little bit messy. I've got some, I still have not opened up the uh, this NEC 19 inch AccuSync. Maybe I'll put that monitor up on top of this. I'm not sure, but lots of bags of stuff. The recent uh, Toys R Us closing. Uh, loot bags in here. We got the Panda Twin Long Super Gun uh, with lock over here. A Sammy a Thomas Wave motherboard. Dolphin Blue in there. Pretty much a permanent fixture for me in that motherboard. See my Jamma harness running around to it. And uh, as you know, the a Thomas Wave motherboard, uh, you know, outputs in uh, 40p, 31 kilohertz. So. Just have a VGA cable going directly from it to this uh, gateway monitor. You know, arcade perfection. Just as though you were playing it on, uh, you know, something like a, a Blast City cabin 31 kilohertz mode or any other number of, uh, I guess, the Atomos Wave SD cabs were um, configured to run that way as well. Or plenty of other 31 kilohertz candy cabs, but yeah, pretty much the same thing with that. Um... I guess that's about all I had to show you. You know, one of my goals with this setup and the setup downstairs in this new house is to kind of downsize in terms of how many CRT monitors <laughs> I have set up. I mean, I'm not sure I'm accomplishing that very well at all, but if you kind of figure that I probably have like 30 plus, um, I, I'm trying to kind of have maybe uh, a little bit less than half of that uh, configured and running at one time. I've still got all the old TVs and monitors, but a lot of them, they're still in boxes here uh, in various places throughout my new house, closets, the garage, what have you. So, and I'm not gonna get rid of anything. I'm gonna keep it all, but uh, uh, just maybe have a, a little bit less configured at one time. So instead of 30, maybe 15. <laughs> So, something like that. I know it still may sound uh, pretty nuts, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep all my old stuff, obviously, and if something ever dies out or is not uh, something that can be repaired, then I'll just go into the closet and bust out one of the many other TVs or monitors that I have. 
But yeah, anyway, obviously this all this these bags of trash and well it's just boxes of well uh, stuff, uh figures, collectible stuff like that. And move it out of here, clear it up, you know, get this on this wall. We'll have uh a couple of things running on this side and then keep everything that's over on this side as well. And um yeah, as far as the progress for the downstairs games room, it's pretty much um pretty much I would say, you know, 75% in completion. So I, I should have a, a game room tour uh, within the next couple of months here. I, you know, it's, um, you know, partially, mainly I'm to blame. I'm just uh, quite busy and uh, I just kind of stockpile stuff. And after the move, I, it's, I still really have not gotten to unboxing and dusting off everything. Like I, I almost forgot that I even had this thing just going through some boxes. Oh, Vega Jr. Yeah, I'd like to have that hooked up as well. So, but just kind of, you know, behind the scenes little tour of the madness um, in terms of how it's transitioning to what will hopefully one day be a nice and tidy set up. You know, I always like, I'm not as big of a fan of the uh, YouTube gaming channels that are high production quality kind of television program type of uh, arrangements where uh, I, I sort of, I've always appreciated more of the uh, just personal, I suppose, gaming vlogs, you could call them, where you just get uh, kind of an intimate behind the scenes look at what people are doing and kind of step-by-step -step, uh, progress sort of videos in terms of what they're working on, repairing, setting up, um, you know, anything like that. So uh, I've always tried to do that myself and um, really enjoy, you know, Luke Morse One. Uh, he's just really done the, the best videos in terms of that. And he's actually recently put up some, some videos of his uh, setups in his new place. And uh, so, you know, mine are probably more messy than yours if you're watching this, Luke. <laughs> But uh, I'm hoping to kind of get it somewhat cleaned up uh, soon whenever I, you know, I just work on this stuff whenever I have the time, which is uh, not all that often, but I'm sure he can relate to that and many of, many of you guys out there as well who've been watching my videos for a while and, and doing the same type of stuff, you know, just gotta make the time when, when, when life permits, but um yeah, I hope to get uh, all that done soon. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying my best to put up some, some more content these days. So I, I hope people are enjoying it. Uh, I'm really enjoying kind of getting back into the swing of making videos. But, yeah, I'll put up a video when I get the Vega Jr. set up over on this side. So just a quick one, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.